Hello everyone, this is Bankole Adeyemi once again with yet another video that would improve the way we carry out online teaching and learning. Today I want to talk about how we can use the Zoom conference call app to share instructional materials, notes, pictures, and interview with our students. So join me on the right. I would improve the way we teach our students online so this is the i do mode of my screen so i want to look for the zoom conference call app zoom should be letter z this is it so i will launch it it's loading now as a teacher i'm the one to start the meeting excuse me I'm the one to start the meeting, so I'll click on new meeting, start meeting, it's loading. Now, assuming the meeting has started, my participants are with me and I want to share something with them. I am teaching them using this. I want to share some things with them on the screen. So this is i'll click on the share icon here as you can see i've clicked on it it gives me a list of things that i can share with them you can see photo document box dropbox some of these things are sites where you can get whatever you want to get some of them are storage spaces on your phone and the rest so today i want to share i want to look at a picture that i can share with them for example i've told them about robot for example and then i want to show them a picture of robot so i'll click on photo as i have done click on photo as i have the picture of robot so you can see here i'll click on this that's where i have the plot so this is one of the pictures i want to use so i'll click on it so this is my screen as this thing is being shared on my screen, my students too can see it at the same time. So we can use this application, Zoom call application, Zoom call application to share pictures. All we need to do is just to make sure that we have those pictures saved on our, in, on our phone before the class begins so that we can just go to where we save it and bring it out for them. If I want to take this away, I'll click on stop share. As you can see so after clicking on stop share the picture will go away now i want to share something else i want to share something i'll click on share again let's say i want to share some documents documents i click it will ask me i want to bring the document from the device story that's my phone story that is where it is then i have some documents in my Xenda. i have some documents here so i'll click here I'll click on order. I know where I stored it, so you can see these are some documents I have here. For example, I want to share 50 powerful tips on how to run a school. So I've clicked on it, then I'll click on share. So as you can see, it is being displayed on my screen. The students can also see this at the same time. Apart from this, what else can we share with our students? Let me click on stop share. So after clicking on stop share, I want to share something else again. I'll click on this share as well. I can share my whiteboard. My whiteboard. By sharing my whiteboard, that means I'm sharing what is more or less the white marker board you have in your class or the modern day interactive whiteboard that we have so you can write on it just click on this pencil icon here so click on pencil you can choose the color this one is used for color this one is eraser this one is the size or the thickness of what you want to write how thick you want it to be this is the delete icon and so on so let me change the color to black i'll click on black so click on pencil back then i can write anything Hello.
as you can see the students will see this and i can erase it for me to erase it it's simple all i have to do is just to click on the three dots at the bottom right corner here and ask for a white board a new white board. so these things will be taken away if i want to write again i'll click on my pencil icon i'll click on my pencil icon and i can begin to write some people have said that it's not good it's not easy to teach mathematics with mathematics with it and i say no it is easy to teach mathematics with zoom conference call icon you can write the notes for example if it's not much this is 3x plus 2 equals let's say 11 11 so how do we get x we continue our solving 3x equals 11 minus 2 by collecting like terms when your students already know this they will tell you in the process even they too can write on your screen as i'm writing on the screen they too can write on the screen you can just tell one of them to finish it and the child will continue like this 3x equals 11 minus 9 11 minus 2 is 9 so x equals to 9 divided by 3 and that will give us x equals 2 so you can write on your screen and when you are done you can save this when you are done with you can save it just click on the three dots at the bottom right corner here you can see save 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 album you can click on it as save it will be save phone this this is one i want to save so i'll click it it is saved already as you can see so let me cancel that i want to stop share apart from this what else can we share well, how can we teach, teach mathematics and another way we can teach mathematics is by having a note written down beforehand and snapping the note with the picture, well, camera of our phone and then presenting it to the student for example as i'm going to do i want to share some notes i have written beforehand for my students and i want them to see it so it's already in a picture form on my phone now so i'll look for photos i'll look for photos like where are the photos there are photos in several places but these ones i want to share where exactly that keep them i think they're in my whatsapp images what images they should be here i sent recently okay can't find them but let me them let me look for them they are not here too i'll look for them can they be in screenshot i doubt it so let me look at images okay these are some good these are some images here i taught the children on this before so i'm giving them homework just write the homework on each sheet of paper snap it on your phone it becomes a picture on your phone so you can share the picture just like i described earlier on so this is the way we share things using zoom conference call application thank you for your time and i hope you find this useful as we make online teaching and learning the norm in nigeria education system thank you goodbye